one last rip. What is going on guys? So today, it is time to say goodbye to big old blue here. So I have the trailer behind me. As you guys know, I did go get the trailer to go bring the Cobra to the track. I ended up driving the Cobra to the track, so I didn't end up using the trailer. So it is time to go ahead and get rid of the trailer. We are also going to clean up the truck a little bit, get everything out of it, and we're gonna return it to stock, at least as stock as we can get it. Obviously, the straight pipe-ish exhaust, whatever you wanna call it, muffler delete, resonator delete stays on the truck. Um, and we are gonna take the JLT cold air off, put the stock intake back on, and we are gonna return it back to stock, obviously taking the ID Motorsports tune off, and we'll say goodbye to big old blue here. It's a little sad, but you know, you know, first truck right here, but I really like the new truck. Uh, we made out really awesome with the new truck. It has a lot of awesome things to it. Um, plus we got the 0% financing. So I'm very happy with that. She has done us so well though on all our road trips and car towing and all that. We have it in tow mode, by the way. We slips the converter much more than normal. But we're gonna drop this off. We'll give her a few last pulls, return her to stock, and say goodbye. Well, looks like the last Starbucks trip in all blue. I got her vacuumed up, you know. And we're gonna be saying goodbye to old blue. Gotta take the cold air. Got the BDX in here. Yeah. All right, one last rip. I guess it's not the last rip, but I haven't ripped on it in a while, actually. Just been towing and daily driving. Well, I guess that was the last rip tuned with cold air. So now it's gonna go back to being super slow. All right, so we got the hood popped on the old blue. We're gonna take our cold air off. It does look pretty dirty, actually. So, but this one, unfortunately, will not fit on the new truck. Um, we'll just need a new cold air or a Whipple, one or the other. Um, and that's because these are math based and the new ones are speed density based. I believe that's the main difference. But we're gonna pop this off. This thing is super easy to install and uninstall. Basically take this piece out, swap over the math, put the stock one in, and we're good to go. And obviously swap the tune, of course. All right, just like that, we got the intake off. We're gonna swap over the mass airflow sensor, put this back in, return to stock, and it'll be essentially stock. All right, MAF is swapped over. Air filter's in place. We're gonna put it back in and turn it back to stock. It'll be good to go. So I hit a slight snag, and please ignore this, but this piece broke off for whatever reason when it was being stored. Only thing I had here was super glue. Normally I would just cap these two holes here, but I didn't have any sort of cap. So super glue, ignore the mess, I know. I'm not happy with the way that this turned out, but once that's dry, I'll be able to put this on the truck. It'll run perfectly fine, um, and I'll just scrape up the extra super glue on there. I don't know why this piece broke off, but once that's back on here, the truck will basically be ready to go. And for anyone curious, if you are ever getting rid of a vehicle trading and want to return back to stock, you're going to want to go to Program Vehicle. You can confirm, and then... I think we, uh, we shouldn't need Wi-Fi. Um, we basically want to return this back to stock. All right, so we just got the tuner to start flashing the stock file. So we'll let it do its thing. All right, back to stock. Let's give it a start. All right. Sounds pretty normal. Thing should be pretty much fine this bad boy right here should be let's see unmarried now huh that's weird it shows two unlocks left but it's unpaired I don't know why it would only show two but 
it is definitely unmarried and we are back on stock tune so there it is going to be saying goodbye i gotta take that off gotta get a few more things out of the truck but everything's pretty much done under here pretty simple uh, swap to do i'm gonna be saying goodbye to this coyote It did just start raining, but I'm gonna go take it for a quick drive, make sure everything's good. I'm gonna stop tune. Should be as far as I know. All right, everything seems pretty much okay. We're just driving around. Still a 93 octane, but stock tune. Um, doesn't really necessarily take as much advantage of that, um, but it feels pretty slow. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure uh, going from tune and cold air to basically stock so let's try it out and <laughs> it still burns tire in the rain I mean there's that oh it's hooked now though all right well the truck feels fine um, it's definitely slow. Much, much slower for sure on stock tune. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm ready to say goodbye to her. That's for sure. I need to let this rain go away so I can finish cleaning out the rest of the truck. All right, well, let's do one more. The, uh, the stock shifting is really weird, um, and it hit limiter there for a second, but yeah, she is definitely way slower. That's a huge difference going from tune cold air to just stock, that is for sure. All right, well, it is time to head out. We're going to be going to drop off the truck. I'm going to be saying goodbye. It's all stock, got everything out of it. I got to go to work afterwards, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah? Saying goodbye. All right, here we go. Got everything pretty much cleaned out. Um, just got a few things I gotta throw away. Keys. Oh, get off me, love bug. Let's see. I got the key all bare. No key tag on it. Fairly cleaned out. I'll hop in her. Stock tune. Stock intake. The only thing it's got is exhaust. I think I'm just disappointed that it has like three quarters of a tank of 93. Gary Yeomans did fill up the new one, but I mean, whatever. Yeah, saying goodbye. I think everything's out of here. Yeah, pretty much. Oh man. All right, last rip. It's so much slower without the tune. It's crazy. Oh man. It didn't even spin and it's raining. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna miss this truck, but I'm so excited to start the new stuff. Just so you guys know, we are gonna be going hard on the new truck. And I'm not gonna give away anything, but you guys are gonna see. It's gonna be awesome. I'm super excited. I know this channel is about Mustangs, but the truck is basically a big Mustang. Um, it's got a five liter V8, 10 speed auto, and that truck is much lighter than this one. So we're gonna be seeing what it does in the quarter mile. I'm gonna put you know, some mods on it, and I'm really excited. All right, I'm pulling in, saying goodbye. <laughs> we got a little bit of spin. Oh man. Yep, that's it. That's the last rip. I think I've said that a few many, too many times, but yep, here she is. Gary Yeomans Ford saying goodbye. I don't know where I need to park this thing, but yeah. Look at all the 18 Mustangs, man. Oh man, what do they got going on here? 
All right, we're gonna go stop in and see Ruben. Get my plate off of it. All right, we got Ruben here. Uh oh. Saying goodbye to old Blue. <laughs> I lied about the last drive. Ruben's giving me the last drive in the passenger seat on my way to work. Last drive as a passenger. The exhaust sounds pretty good though, doesn't yes, it? Yes, does. Everybody in the mother's trying to went underneath it to see what was there. It's basic, it's easy. They said, it doesn't have cats. I was like, hey, they told me it didn't, but let me call them and make sure. Definitely has cats. Yeah. All right, saying goodbye. So I wanted to finish off this video. The blue 13 F-150 is now gone. So I wanted to show you guys a full walkthrough of the new 2018 five liter automatic 10 speed Coyote truck. So I am so excited. So let's go ahead and take a in-depth look at it. And yeah, um, now there are a few surprises that I can't show you that are already done to the truck. So look forward to the next videos. I'm gonna show you guys the window sticker which shows all the features of it and just walk through the truck. All right, so here is the window sticker. Uh, so it is a XLT. It is not a four wheel drive because we really don't need four wheel drive and I don't need an excuse to off road this vehicle. I know launching it would be pretty cool, especially if it has a supercharger, but I really didn't want to deal with issues with breaking the four wheel drive system because as you guys know, if I use something, I'm gonna beat it up pretty hard. So I didn't wanna to have to worry about breaking the four wheel drive system or having an excuse to take the truck off road. So the options are fairly simple. Um, it is an XLT sport package. Um, it has the center console, has Sync 3 with Apple CarPlay, has some heated seats, has sport modes, has the trailer backup trailer mode um, has a locker total before discounts is 51 um, but Ruben worked on a really good setup to make this thing go down and made it really affordable for us to do and made it reasonable so I'm really happy you have the options right down here um, it does have a front license plate bracket but we're never using that crap um, pro trailer backup assist is that it also has nav has a towing package has the 20 inch wheels which I actually really really like has LEDs in the rear this one I really like flex fuel which is awesome it also has 355 gears again with that locker so I'm really happy with the trim on this truck so let's take a walk around Obviously, remote start is a very cool feature, especially here in Florida, get the AC going. I really like the 20 inch wheels. These wheels actually look really good, especially for factory wheels. So the XLT has some appearance differences, which I'm not a professional truck person, but we do have like painted door handles. Um, obviously, very, very nice inside. We have the keypad on the side. I really like the seats. The seats get this little tire track thing right there. The dash gets the electronic thing that has the trip fuel and a bunch of gauges and a bunch of different options down there. Headlights, fog lights, electronic e-brake, which is standard in this vehicle. We have the center console shifter, has sport mode, uh, snow mode, all that stuff just with this. Very similar to the Mustangs. Obviously we did a crew cab, which is super important for us and we really like it. Center console has power. 
USB and so if I need to edit on the road gonna be absolutely awesome also has AC vents in the back for your passengers and one thing I really like about these you fold up the seats and you get all this room which is super useful so we just put that down as you can see here ah uh, that is a beautiful sight and we're gonna be doing some fun with this pretty soon so definitely stay tuned for that got some very nice Michelin tires going back here obviously we have our trailer hookups which is very very useful very important also got that has LEDs so these LEDs in the truck um, the bed will lock when you lock the door uh, we do need to get a bed cover but I am very very happy with the truck for sure it also does have power outlet right here which is super convenient and heated seats this is actually my first vehicle that I have owned with heated seats which I really like especially in the winter here in Florida it's kind of nice you know it doesn't get too cold but it is definitely a nice option I've never been a fan of air-conditioned seats this thing's pretty big too um, but yeah that's about it so that is the new truck I am super excited to get started having some fun with it obviously it's still a daily driver it is a tow vehicle but it can also be a really fun um, car to drive I also just noticed that my tire tower back here collapsed which is probably not good and I'm gonna go handle that anyway guys make sure you slap that like button down below leave a comment let us know what you think I'm super excited to start on this and some of you guys were like well you're doing that well that's gonna be taken away from a bunch of other things not necessarily we're still waiting on figuring out some details on this Ashley's gonna be taking the Whipple to the track probably in a few weeks we're still waiting for things to cool down um, we're going out to FL2K this weekend with the Cobra, obviously towing with the new truck. Turretzilla is the only thing that is kind of on the back burner, but we are still working on some details on some stuff there. Might work, might not. But that is the quick update. That is the new truck. Saying goodbye to the old truck. So guys, we'll see you in the next one.